41% of employees are worried. 61% of white collar workers are in fear. AI is coming. AI is coming. Am I going to lose my job? What was once just anxiety is now backed by hard research. Just let that sink in. Microsoft has just released a massive report analyzing over 200,000 real world conversations with its AI co-pilot. And what you feared, the data now confirms it. But there is no twist. You already saw this coming. It's not the truck drivers or the dishwashers. It's the desk jobs that are under fire. AI is not coming for your mom. It's coming for your mouse. Which jobs are the most vulnerable? It's where AI shines. Microsoft's analysis reveals this truth. AI isn't replacing jobs. It's replacing the most repeatable, predictable, and pattern-based jobs. We see six zones where AI is hitting the hardest. Let's go through them one by one. The first one is writing, summarizing, and explaining. The jobs affected are journalists, PR professionals, researchers, B school faculty. Because clean, structured communication, guess what? AI nails it. At number two is repetitive queries and structured responses. Jobs affected are customer service, call center staff, executive assistant. These are all pattern-based work. And guess what? AI works seven by 24, doesn't get tired, and always has a friendly voice. Number three, tech and coding roles. Jobs that will be affected are developers, Q&A engineers, and full stack teams. Because now you've got GitHub Copilot, you've got even ChatGPT, doing in seconds what once took hours. Number four, voice, speech, and on-camera presence-related jobs. Which ones are these? Anchors, voice artists, spokespeople, and trainers. Scripted content, AI avatars now host shows. They make ads and they even do trainings. Recently, even Vogue used them for models. Number five, math, logic, and analysis. Just recently, Sam Altman spoke about how ChatGPT scored gold at the IMO. Deep Think has also scored gold. We had a model that was able to achieve gold level performance on the IMO. The jobs that will get affected are data scientists, financial analysts, and researchers. At number six are teaching and knowledge delivery jobs. Affected are teachers, corporate trainers, and online instructors. Lesson plans, quizzes, concept breakdowns, AI can teach too. Now you ask, what are the safe zones? Jobs that AI isn't touching yet. The further you are from a desk, probably the safer your job is. The first is physical manual work. Electricians, plumbers, carpenters, delivery drivers. AI can't climb ladders or fix broken fans in the Delhi heat. Number two, in-person care and services. Nurses, elderly caregivers, salon pros, empathy and touch, still human. And at number three are jobs that exist in unstructured environments, such as security, firefighters, emergency responders. AI needs patterns. Real life doesn't give you those patterns. And if those patterns don't exist, AI will not replace your job. So what did we learn after going through all these pages? First of all, hands-on work is the safest. AI still struggles with the real world. The robotic world is just not there yet. Number two, desk jobs are under serious pressure. AI excels at screen-based tasks. Number three, no job, and remember, no job is too smart to be disrupted. Coders, teachers, analysts, you are not immune. Number four, AI may not be your intern anymore. It's your teammate or maybe even your competition. So what, so what do you do now? We've heard it all. AI is coming for your job. Nothing is safe. Humans are obsolete. But here's the truth. This isn't the end of jobs. It's the end of jobs that can be easily copied. It's your move. Don't fear AI. Figure out what makes you irreplaceable.